In the last episode we learned how to generate mesh in Unreal Engine and in this episode we will create a flat terrain and play with its heights a little bit. Let's get started! Firstly we need to create a grid of vertices. Let's open our BP Diamond Square actor. Now we need to make all the variables except material private because we don't need to set them manually anymore. Now we should create create vertices function. Number of vertices depends on our grid size, so let's add variables responsible for it. Now we have to create each vertex individually. In order to do this, we need to iterate through all vertices and assign location to them. So we should create for loop, where last index is uh, x size. Also, let's add local variable called x and uh, make it uh, equal to the index of our loop. And you see here that uh, to create a grid of two squares, we need three vertices. That's why it's important to use x size variable instead of x size minus one. Then we create an identical for loop that will iterate through y coordinate. And after this loop, we add this code. Also, let's create new variables called scale and UV scale and multiply each coordinate by them. Scale is like a gap between coordinates and without scale our grid will be too small. Also, I will draw spheres to show that our vertices were generated. Now, let's call our function on begin play and uh, test it. I will set our x size to 5, y size to 10, scale to 100 and uv scale to 1. I hit play and our vertices were generated. Now we need to create triangles. So we have to create a new function called create triangles. Let's create a first triangle. It starts from 0. The next vertex is 1, that is 0 plus 1, and the last vertex is 4, that is y size plus 1. Let's do this in code. And don't forget to add our function on begin play. Return to our scene again, hit play, and here's our first triangle. To create the second triangle, we need to take vertex 1, then vertex 5, that is y size plus 2, and vertex 4 equals to y size plus 1. So let's do this in code. Go back to the level and our second triangle was successfully generated. Now we need to generate these triangles for each square. To do this we have to iterate through each vertex. Let's start by creating only the first row. So we should create for loop before all this code. The last index is y size minus 1. Then we create new local variable called vertex. Add it to index of each point. And increment it by 1 in the end of the loop. Let's check the result. And yes, this works perfectly. It's really important to use y size minus 1 instead of y size. Let me show what happens when we use just y size. It looks that everything is ok, but if I try to go down here, something blocks me. And if I go under our terrain, you will see that strange shape. So basically it happens because when our loop reaches the value of 3, it creates two triangles using these points. Therefore, we need to use y size minus 1, so that our loop doesn't reach the value of 3. Then we create another for loop before this loop, but the last index is x size minus 1. Let's try it. And our train is not generated correctly. Also, we have that strange shape under our terrain again. It happens because despite the fact that we use x and y size minus 1, our vertex value still reaches 3 and 7 because it increases only by 1. So we need to somehow skip these values. And probably the easiest way to do this is incrementing vertex value 
after while size loop is completed. Return to our scene, hit play and now everything is working perfectly. The last thing we can do is playing with heights of vertices. So let's create two variables called zmin and zmax and pass random float between these values to z coordinate of each vertex using random float in range function. Also let me remove the bug spheres. Go back to our level. I will set z mean to minus 100, z max to 100, y size to 75, and x size to 100 for example. Hit play. And now our train has random heights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.